everybody, it's Julie with Artie Party Paints, and today my friend Amy the Artist is going to help show how to do a tiger face design. This one is, again, a classic for every face paint board, so let's get to it. So to start off with, we're going to take your squirt bottle and spritz your sponge. We're just going to start off with white today. So fully load up that sponge by squeezing it a little bit and dabbing it into that wet paint there. And again, it's always better to be too dry than too wet because you can always add more water if you need to with a simple spritz. So to start off, it's kind of like the butterfly that we did earlier. You're going to just start at the corner of the eye right here and roll this back into a triangle. Just like that over the top of the eye. All right, try not to get it below the eye there. Keep it just right above the eyelashes and then roll it up into a triangle. And the same thing on the other side. Dab that all the way around, just like that. Take good coverage over those eyes and make sure that they match. That's perfect. So for the next part, you're going to fully load up your second sponge. You're going to do half yellow and half orange. All right. So now you're going to take your sponge that you have loaded half in orange and half in yellow. You're going to put the yellow on the inside closest to the nose. You always want the yellow to be in the middle. So you're going to roll this one up. And there are two versions of doing this one. You can roll straight all the way back up to here and do orange across the whole top. Or you can do little ears on it. And today I feel like doing ears. So we're going to do, you're only going to bring this up about halfway. And then you're going to use the edge of it and pull down a little bit to give it some orange on top there. All right, I'm going to reload my sponge a little bit with some orange. And we're going to roll this right across. So keep this middle part nice and yellow and roll it out into orange. You get a nice blend on there. It's kind of like an airbrush effect. Just like that. I forgot to do this earlier, so, but what you would do while you're doing those eye parts right up there is also do this part right underneath the nose. So you're going to scrunch up your, your sponge just like that so that it's nice and small and you can fit in that area. And you're going to dab your white all along here. Just like that. Alright, that's going to create your muzzle. Alright. Let's do a little bit more orange to feather that out a little bit. Looking good. And this is where I'd add my glitter. I used Mama Clown's White Fairy Dust. It's cosmetic glitter. And there we go. And now you're going to give her her stripes. So that is just your black liner brush. You're going to load this one up. This is a majestic number four. And you're going to kind of outline the bits that you have. And you're going to keep this one kind of feathery like you did for the dog. And just kind of flick this one in, give it a wiggle and a flick, flick, just like that. And those are going to be your ears. And now you're going to flick up to give them a little, just like that. And one more pull down. There we go. Flick this part in. This is this the little fluffy ear bit. Looking good. Now I move on to the nose. I'm going to pull this one down across the nose. So it's not like flat across. Cats have a little bit more of a shape to them than dogs do. So it usually is more of a triangle like that. And you can continue this all the way to the end of the nostrils. Or you can stop short like I did there to make it a little smaller and cute. All right, from here, you're going to pull down and make a little drop right there. Do a teardrop that gets wider at the bottom to create your muzzle effect. And then you're going to do the same thing you do for the dog. So from the corner of the mouth, you're going to pull up and release just like that. So you're going to follow kind of the smile lines that you'd have there. And this edge always points to the corner of the nose. I'm going to do the same thing on that side. Pull it in like that. From here, you're going to give her some whiskers. So one, two, three pulls. One, two, three dots. One, two, three. Just like that. 
Now you're almost done. You're gonna give her the rest of her stripes here. So we're gonna, to make stripes, instead of just going straight out like, like this, you're going to play with your brush a little bit. So you're gonna start very gently, really gently here, and you're gonna press down a little bit harder. So press down all the way so that you get kind of a teardrop shape, and then you're gonna pull down. So you're trying to kind of follow the shapes of the face here and highlight them instead of fighting against them by trying to do something that's uh, too straight or not this shape that it's falling. So I do two down, gentle and then hard, and then a flick down, and then I do one or two up. So flick up and then out. And usually I do like one in there. There we go. And if those edges aren't as sharp as you want them, you can go back and flick it out. Like that. And you're going to do the same thing on the other side. So you're going to do two down, following the shapes that you already have right here, just a little bit more um, stripey. <laughs> so again, so you're gentle and then push down and then pull, flick down. And then one more, once you get to the eye part, you're going to flick up. So you're going to go one, up, and then flick in. I sometimes will add a little dot in here too, it doesn't hurt anything, it just looks kind of cute. And for the middle of the forehead, if you went all the way up to the top with your orange here, you would do this bigger, and since it's shorter, I'm gonna do it smaller. You do a kind of an almost diamond shape, which you create by flattening your brush out, you create a little teardrop shape that goes down, and then one more flick down, and one more flick up. But you don't quite connect it at the very top. And then you just follow that diamond shape in the middle two more little shapes. So the more play you get on your brush, the thick and thin, the better it's gonna look. So make sure you play around with that. All right, and the very last thing that I do is give her some teeth. So you just take a white liner brush, pull down from the very corner, just like that, and then give it an outline. Just like this. And also for girls, sometimes I like to add some lipsticky color to it. So I'll take like a pretty pink or a red, and you can go right across that middle, right here. You can also do that in black, but the black is gonna smear really fast. So that just makes it kind of cute and feminine. You can also dress it up even more with a few dots and sparkles. I usually try and keep my dots right inside those black lines they help to make it look extra fine. <laughs> All right, and there you have it, your very fast and cute tiger. Thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tiger tutorial. This one's one of my very favorites. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.